Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at the unit circle with radians. Let's check it out. For each point on the unit circle, select the angle that corresponds to it. All right, here's our first one. All right, the radian measure, I'm thinking this is pi radians, this is my reference point. Pi is more than 180 degrees. If I look at this one right here, it looks to me like this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's one sixth of pi radians. And I'm just drawing that out in my mind to see that this is one cut, two cuts, three cuts, right? I like to draw this out because I can estimate one, two sixth, badly drawn three sixth, four, five, six sixth, or one whole pi. This is pi radians. So I'm going to say, yeah, that one right there, that's pi over six. Over here, B, looks like it's pi over 6 past pi, so it's 1 pi plus pi over 6. Now, 1 pi is like 6 6 plus another 6 is 7 6 pi. And I look at this right here, and I'm not so sure that I can see exactly what it is. So I, maybe it's a third past pi? I don't know. 7 6 well, 8 7, 7 fifths, it's got to be over pi. So it's one of these three. I can't tell which one it is. Let's keep going. Now I noticed that the three right here, there's only four choices. So this right here, let's see, this is, that looks like a third. One, two, three. A third before two pi. Now, two pi minus a third, think about this. 2 pi radians minus a third of a pi, or pi over 3. 2 pi is equal to 6 pi over 3 minus 5 pi over 3, minus pi over 3 is 5 pi over 3. Right, you're taking 6, six thirds and you're taking 1 third away, you have 5 thirds left. Now there's two choices here and it's really hard for me to tell what we're dealing with. Is it uh, 8 pi over 7 or 7 pi over 5. That's really hard. Um, I would say here, is there anything we do to calculate? Do we know any information about it? No. I don't. Th it's not 5 pi over 3. It's not pi over 6. It's one of these two right here. This would indicate that it is um, 2 two fifths beyond the circle. This is in the case 1 seventh beyond these the the circle here. Now if I draw this out I can estimate it. Let's see. Clear this off. So here one two three four five six so it looks like sevenths actually this is so this is seven sevenths or one pi plus another one is eight sevenths. So I'm gonna say eight sevenths. It looks like it checks out. There we go. Yay, got it. So it's about estimating where these points really are. What is the y coordinate of point A? Alright, well let's screen capture this one. And let's actually can I write on this screen here with my tablet? That'd be cool. Yay! Okay. So I can write straight on this. Let's do that. So right here, um, we we started with trigonometry by learning about right triangles. So that the instinct is to try and draw a right triangle here. We can fix this. That's not. This is looking worse. Come on, Sean. Okay. So we got a leg. Here's our right triangle. There's the right angle. This is one. And pi over 6 uh, radians, that means that it's like 30 degrees. And then this right here it <clears throat> is pi over 3. That's a 60 degree angle. Now, that means we're dealing with a special triangle. And this side is half the hypotenuse. So I'm going to redraw it over here. It's getting a little sloppy over there. So we got that side, leg. All right. This is one. This is half in length. If this, if this was just a right triangle, no direction, that'd be a half. And this would be the smaller side, and one half times radical three. And 
this is pi over 6 radians and we were done except there are a couple other things to think about the direction of this which corresponds to the location of point A is negative so it's a negative one half and the angle that gets us to this point starts all the way at the x-axis and wraps all the way around it always does and that's 2 pi radians the full rotation minus pi over 6 2 pi is the same as 12 pi over 6 minus 1 pi over 6. You have 12 pi, you take 1 pi away. 12 minus 1 is 11. It's 11 pi over 6. And that's the angle we're dealing with. And when we talk about the y-coordinate, that always refers to the sine value, whereas the x-coordinate is always the cosine value. And that's to do with the fact that the sine of this reference angle brings you to the same terminal point as this angle does. And the sine of the, so this sine of angle brings you to the same terminal point. So we can use it. And the sine is just opposite over hypotenuse, but the hypotenuse is just 1. So it ends up just being whatever that opposite value is. So it's the sine of 11 pi over 6. There it is. Yay! Okay, points A, B, and C are plotted on the unit circle. Which of the, the coordinates is equal to the cosine of pi? Well, the cosine of pi radians is 180 degrees, and that corresponds to point C. So it's the x value. Cosine always refers to x value of point C. A, B, and C are plotted on the unit circle. Which of the coordinates is equal to the sine of 11 pi over 6? So 12 pi over 6 would be a full rotation from the x-axis. right? So 11 pi over 6 is 1 6 less, so it's point C. And that would, it's the sine, so it refers to the y value of C, which is right here. Got it. All right, hope that helped.